Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to this video where I'm going to be demonstrating how to effectively lead source from Indeed and also LinkedIn. Now there is a bit of trouble when you actually try to filter out um, leads on Indeed. So you want to filter out staffing agencies. So I've got the US here and I've got the UK here. So when you actually type in like a nurse, what happens is you can you can filter out staffing agencies or recruitment agency so they don't come up in your lead list however in the United States it doesn't actually work however there is a way to actually do that and I'm going to just demonstrate it here now so if we type in nurse there is actually no way to filter out even though I think there is but it doesn't actually work there's 270,000 so what you want to do is you want to type in bracket minus staffing agency Yep, and that's it. So if you notice there's 276,000, it's dropped down to 58. So that in here will be no, no, you will never find a staffing agency. You might find one or two, but that is the only way. So it's bracket minus staffing agency. You can put and in there as well. So it's a nice Boolean search to do that. So I'm gonna show you on LinkedIn now as well. And I'm gonna go through the job section how to effectively search from here so what I want to do is I want to type in I don't know registered nurse and naturally you will find a lot of agencies on here as well so what I tend to do is very simple I just type minus recruitment in the UK in the US you would type brackets minus staffing agencies because it's two words and that's filtered it out as well so there's 18,000 and if we type out that, it goes up to 33. So that is a very accurate number. That's about half. And that's pretty much what Indeed shows us. So if you are looking to lead source from here, these are the best ways to do it. So what do you do once you've actually done that? The best way I go about it is a two-pronged attack. So if we're looking at LinkedIn, what I would look at doing is going on here, and I would actually go to the company. Sometimes you'll get a person's name and address come up here. Sorry, their profile like this would be the person. Now this doesn't necessarily mean they're the person to contact. That's who the premium account belongs to or who is in control of the budget. So sometimes it's the head of operations. They may or may not be the person to contact. So you have to be careful with it. I tend to still look at the company, go into them, click people, and then I do my normal recruitment search. Now, because they've posted on LinkedIn, so actually they were the right person, because they've posted on LinkedIn, I suspect they're going to be pretty active. So if I connect a blind connection and then I send a message after they've connected, I would also do a view email and I would get this person's email address using Apollo IO, Lead Leaper or any other software. You can obviously guess their email addresses however that's probably the best way to go about it so this is how I'd effectively lead source filter out staffing agencies and recruitment agencies so I hope this video helped it's been a short one but some valuable information for you guys take care